All right, thank you Palo Verde girls recently crowned the Nevada 4A state champions and that video was courtesy of Nevada Track Stats which is the source for all things high school running in Nevada. You can check that out at runnerspace.com slash NV. That was actually the Runnerspace Network site of the week a while back. Now this week's awkward video of the week comes from the Asian Games which wrapped up this Saturday. There it is now. Is it because he's enjoying himself or what? That's a first for me, I must admit. <laughs> Culturally lost on me, I'm afraid. Maybe we should be looking maybe we should be looking a little bit deeper into this. Relaxed too. Now I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's a sort of Morris Green practice from many years back. It's uh, it's almost like the uh, the hacker that the Maori rugby players do. Hey, it's our first show of December, which to some means that it's a month for beards and scarves. To those less fortunate, it's just simply a month for scarves. But to me, it only means two things. One, this is the one year anniversary of when I tried going on a run with my rabbit, and to celebrate, we're watching a quick video clip. <laughs> Two, Nike Cross Nationals is this Saturday. And I'm gonna start warming up now because last year I was freezing. It's the Runner Space Rundown. Well, I mentioned it last week. Here are the runnerspace.com slash Nike Hub race time photos of the week. Keep submitting, you could see your race time photo on next week's show. And, of course, the Runner Space Network site of the week this week is nikecrossnationals.com. We may have already mentioned this site before, but since the meet is this weekend, we thought we'd pick it again. Right now, you can check out lots of archived media and view all the regional meet coverage, including their highlight videos. Then, on the day of the meet, this Saturday, December 4th, come here at 10.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to watch the live webcast. It's the high school rundown. A lot of regionals this weekend, NXN and Foot Locker. First off, the NXN Northeast Regional. In the guys' race, it was Christian Brothers Academy. Recently set a team average record at Holmdale Park. They won with 102 points here. The US number four ranked Jim Rosa was first in a 15.36. And on the girls' side, it was the New Jersey Meta Champ runners up, Voorhees High School, who took the win. And very close individually is Molly McNamara of New Jersey beat out Lindsay Crevasser of Connecticut, both with times of 18.33. On to the state that's so good it gets its own region, New York. Fiveville Manly has swept the team titles. They're the overwhelming favorites for nationals on the girls' side, and they won with 28 points over the number three ranked Saratoga Springs. Jillian Fanning of 5 was the overall winner in an 18 flat, and Sam Place of Saratoga won the guys' race in a 15-55. Moving on to the Southeast Regional, the Tatnall girls of Delaware got their fifth straight NXN qualifier, and they were led by the individual champ Haley Pierce, who won with a 17-15. On the guys' side, Midlothian of Virginia beat out the region's top-ranked team and returning regional champions Brookwood High School of Georgia. Armando Devaya of Miami Columbus in Florida was the individual champ in a 15-15. Also, the California State meet was this weekend where NXN selections from those neck of the woods were made. On the guy's side, the number two ranked team in the nation, Arcadia, dominated the D1 race with 60 points, led by the individual champ Amar Mosa in a 1443. The girls' side also had the number two ranked team in the nation, Saugus High School, who dominated the D2 race with 25 points. Simi Valley freshman Sarah Baxter had the fastest time of the day, winning the D1 race in a 1657. Earlier this season, she broke Jordan Assay's freshman Mount Sack record and also broke her freshman course record here. Absolutely incredible. Could just be the first of many championships we see out of her. Let's not forget about the Foot Locker Regionals, where the top 10 boys and girls from each region qualify for the finals in San Diego on December 11th. The Northeast region had the top two ranked girls in the nation, but the number one ranked Ashlyn Cuff of New York prevailed. The number two ranked Megan Venables took fourth. At Foot Locker Midwest, the nation's top ranked individual and returning Foot Locker national champion Lucas Versbikas held off the U.S. number six ranked individual Futsum Zanasalasi to get the win in a 1445. And lastly, in the South region, twin sisters Catherine and Erica Fleur of Florida went 1 2, beating out third place Rachel Johnson of Texas, who was previously undefeated this season. It's the College Pro Run down. With NCAA cross country over, the name of the game is European cross. In Yodio, Spain, at the Cross Internacional de Yodio, 21-year-old Ethiopian Teclamari Medin was the champion here in a 31-24 for 9.79k. He beat out a strong field, including second place Kenyan Kiprono Manjo and third place Eritrean Samuel Tsege. On the women's side, in the absence of any of the major African players, Spaniard Alessandro Aguilar was the winner in a 28-02 for 7.64k. At the British qualifier for the European cross country championships, Andy Vernon of Aldershot, who placed fifth last year, was the winner, barely beating out James 
James Wilkinson, who finished in second, but was the first under 23 finisher. Louise Damon, running in her first cross race in two years, was a winner on the women's side. And last year's European cross champ, Haley Yelling, who was battling a cold, finished in seventh. At the Cross de la Sierra in France, the Kenyan superstars dominated. Reigning world cross champ, Joseph Abuya was the winner by 29 seconds over Ethiopian Amain Murga. Murga has won this race for the last three years. The Net Masai won the women's race by 19 seconds. And at the now concluded Asian Games, the track and field highlight had to be Lu Zhang's third consecutive championship in the 110 hurdles. He won on a surprisingly fast 13.09. Wow, check this out. Former Javelin world record holder Ronald Bradstock found a picture of himself on Google Street View throwing a Javelin. And the Javelin is in midair. Sweet. Update, I also just wasted a ton of time trying to find where it landed and I think I just did. It's the Road Racing Rundown. Let's kick it off with an amazingly fast turkey trot. At the Applied Materials Silicon Valley Turkey Trot in San Jose, the US record holder in the mile, Alan Webb was a winner in a course record 13.36 for 5K. He outkicked his Oregon Track Club teammate, Galen Rupp, for the win. Rupp was making his elite road racing 5K debut and was second in a 13.39. Scotty Balls was third in a 13.47. Recent Kansas State graduate, Beverly Ramos of Puerto Rico, won the women's race in a 16.19. Ethiopian Aziza Aliu was second in a 16.24. And Teresa McWalters of Massachusetts was third in a 1632. At another big Thanksgiving Day race, the Manchester Road Race in Connecticut, there was another Oregon Track Club victory. Multiple time NCAA champion and race favorite, Kenyan Sally Kipiego was the winner. She ran a 2408 to win by 43 seconds, beating out second place Delilah De Crescenso with a 2451. On the men's side, Moroccan Murad Morofit won in a 2139. In second place was Ben True of New Hampshire, four seconds back in a 2143. And lastly, at the Chiba Kaiden Mixed Gender Relay in Japan, the Japanese university team got a huge upset. They ran a 20752 for the marathon distance. Beating out second place Kenya with a 20806. The defending champions, the Japanese national team, were third in a 20812. And the American team took fifth with a 21054. All right, that'll do it for this week. I'll see you all at Nike Cross Nationals. And if you're going to be square and not be there, then check out the live webcast. It's going to be awesome. Runner Space Live, signing out.